Welcome back watch fans and thank you for watching another watch review by Todd's Watch Shop. Today I have another unboxing. <clears throat> now before I open this up, um, I've noticed a trend that I've been following on a lot of watch reviews from a lot of other different people on YouTube. So normally I use this to open up my boxes, right? Because it's what I have. This is a workshop off my garage and it works well, right? You know, I am from Miami, but uh, don't get... Ooh, is that blood? No. Okay, sorry. That's, <laughs> I've cut myself for. Uh, I am from Miami, but uh, don't get any mis you know preconceptions about this. Uh, I... Um, I also work on cars in my spare time, and so these are really useful. I got a pack of them. But I've noticed that people tend to use a lot of cool knives, and that seems to be the thing that they use. So I'm I'm not really one to be uh I've never one been been one to be outdone by anybody. So um I thought I would just look in my garage and see if I had any cool knives. And so I found this uh um uh, machete, and so I figured, you know, I, I don't like to I don't like to lose, so I'm going to use this and, and open up my watch box. You know, you guys have your little pocket knives, but I'm from Miami, and, you know, we've got um, got some big banana trees we got to cut down, and this is just going to have to do. So I'd like to see somebody try and beat this. Maybe one of you weirdos have got, like, a big, a big uh, sword from the medieval times, but this works. All right. So I don't know what this is, but I guess we'll see. Uh, looks like a Venger. Oh, what is this? Oh, very cool. Okay. Looks like it spent some time on the shelf. This might be one of the cheaper ones I bought. You know what? I'm going to come back and use them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to use this thing. I, uh, I don't. I just, I can't. I don't have time for that big ass thing. This works just as well. Let's see. And, and I, I got to be honest with you, I've got so many watches coming in that I'm having a hard time keeping track of what's what. So this could, I really have no idea what, what watch this is. Um, but I guess we'll find out. Interesting packaging. I've actually never received a Venger in this. Uh, ooh. Oh, this is nice. This is a, uh, the Venger Avenue. $135. Very interesting. It's a nice field watch. You know, this reminds me of the, oh, what watch was it? The Attitude Heritage. This has got a nice leather, oh, sorry, rubber strap on it. Oh, this is spectacular. This is a great watch. Look at this. I don't even remember buying this one. Did somebody send this to me wrong? All right, well, I'm going to take it apart, and I'm going to do some videos on the movement, and then we'll uh, get back into it. But first, I want you to watch a video on Wenger, just like I always do. And then talk a little bit more about the watch. Thank you. Technically pronounced Wenger, the company dates back to the late 1800s. The company got its start in Switzerland in the canton of Jura. This region is overlooked by the Jura Mountains and famous for a number of watchmakers whose names are too many to list. The company's first line of products include industrial cutlery and butcher equipment. Technically known as Paul Bouchette and C, the company would become known as Wenger after Theodore Wenger, a minister who'd served in the U.S. military, returned to Switzerland and joined Paul Bouchette. They quickly worked to produce a new pocket knife supporting a government contract for the Swiss Army. This contract was split with the company Victorinox, thus beginning the long relationship with the company. For nearly 80 years, Victorinox and Wenger both produced Swiss Army knives. Wenger began production of watches in 1988, a year earlier than Victorinox. Things looked promising for both companies, but they were both hit hard in the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks. New airline rules outlined the use of pocket knives, which were common among passengers. Eventually, this took its toll on Wenger, and the company was saved from bankruptcy only when Victorinox purchased them. Eventually, Victorinox became the sole producer of the Swiss Army Knife, while, com while both companies continue to produce watches under separate names. While the Wenger brand is known for as an entry-level watch, that's not to say that they haven't produced their share of quality watches. Their most famous high-level watch is the GST Classic, which was a mechanical watch powered by the famous Valjoux 7750 27-joule movement. This watch retailed for over 10,000 US dollars. The watch is extremely rare and came in at every conceivable complication you could imagine. To include moon phase, day, date, and month, 
Second Time Zone, and Chronograph. Winger is truly an underrated brand, and I really cannot emphasize this enough. They produce watches that range from 100 in today's US dollars all the way to 2000 for their high-end watches. Most of the watches I will review from this company will be in the sub-500 range. For the price point, you absolutely get a substantial value, and this watch is no exception. All right, I hope you liked that video, uh, the Wenger video that I, I put together. Um, I do include that in all my Wenger videos, but uh, I just like to include it because I think it gives you sort of uh, a little bit of history of Wenger. And uh, particularly, it's one of my favorite brands. Uh, it, it absolutely is. Uh, but I'll just get right into this watch. Um, this really is an excellent watch. I, I open it up in between the video and uh, in this segment, and it uses the Ronda 515S movement. So the S gives it... Uh, um, better uh, power reserve. Uh, it also supports hacking feature, as you'll see, which is nice. Um, this is a current model. They are still currently selling it, although Wenger is out of stock on this particular run. Um, it This comes with the silicon strap, and that's why it's a little bit cheaper. You can see the, uh, the MSRP is $135, and while that is MSRP is usually high, uh, this is still an excellent value. You're, you are legitimately getting a Ronda Swiss movement uh, for $135. It's a, it's not Swiss parts, it's the Swiss made version and there is a difference and we'll go into that um, in the, uh, the movement video that I intend to show. But excellent watch. Um, stainless steel silicon strap. This is also a silica, uh, I'm sorry, a sapphire coated crystal. Three layers of uh, of coating, um, that's that's significant because most most um, most watches, particularly at this price range, are just normal mineral crystal. But uh, Wenger almost exclusively uh, coats all of their crystals. If they don't outright make them in sapphire, which is definitely which is like 20, 20 times more expensive just for sapphire than the normal mineral crystal. But they do sapphire coat it. Uh, let's see what else can I say about this. Um, yeah, so I have been seeing this. Like, I don't think I paid. I know I didn't pay one thirty five for this. Uh, I don't remember. I did. I did check, uh, and it was something that I bought off eBay from a uh, a watch liquidator. So this is gray market, but I'm more than happy to have it. It's a current model, very nice, signed, signed crown. It is a um, the case and case back are both are both CNC'd, so not stamped. These are both literally CNC'd and brushed and um, laser etched writing. It uh, supports 100, 100 meters uh, water resistance, which is very good. I'll put a uh, chart up to the right there. As you can see, 100 meters is basically perfect. You can go swimming, you can do the dishes, you can play all kinds of sports. Um, I think you can even do basic snorkeling. I, I always forget, but I think that's uh, pretty acceptable that you can do that with this watch. Um, it's a very handsome looking watch. Uh, it's their sport model, uh, to be clear. And uh, let's do some measurements real quick. All right, the case is 42 millimeters. 42 millimeters wide. Case diameter. Uh, it's about, about 10 meters thick. The lug width is 22, which means you can put nice straps on it. And the width with the crown is 45.6. So a very nice watch, also signed at the top. I forgot to mention that, um, as with most of Angers. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play a video for you on the watch movement. Again, that is the 515S Ronda movement. The Wenger Avenue Sport uses the 515S version of the Ronda Powertech Series 500 movement. The Ronda Powertech 500 series of calibers are affordable quartz movements. These watch movements are available with Swiss made and Swiss parts designations. The 500 series is often found in affordable Swiss luxury timepieces and there are many variations to the movement. So what are the differences? There are a total of 8 different versions of 500 series movements. The 513 includes your basic hours, minutes, and central seconds. 
The 513S is the same as the 513, but with improved power and a hacking feature. The 515 model is the same as the original 513, but with the date at the 3 o'clock position. The 515S, like the 513S, is simply a revised version of the 515. The 515.24D is the same as the 515S, however the second hand is a sub-second at the 6 o'clock location. The 515.24H is also similar to the 515S, however it includes a separate 24-hour GMT hand. Next, the 517 also uses the 515S base movement, but with a day of the week wheel in addition to the date. Finally, the 519 is based off of the 517, but simply utilizes the extra wheel to create a larger double-digit date indicator. There are two versions of this movement, the Swiss made and the Swiss parts version. Both are nickel plated with one jewel. The Swiss parts version will typically be labeled as such, while the Swiss made version will typically state Swiss R9 or Swiss made. The 515S movement takes a 371 battery cell, which supports a powerful stepping motor. Battery life can be supported by up to 10 years with the hacking feature, but will typically last for two to three years with the crown engaged. Quality of the movement is quite decent for the cost, with a claimed accuracy of plus or minus 20 seconds per month for the Swiss parts, and plus or minus 10 seconds for the Swiss made version. All right, I hope you enjoyed that quick informative video on the movement. Uh, good quality Ronda movement, Swiss made, uh, not Swiss parts, but legitimately Swiss made. Um, before we go any further, I want to do a quick loom shot. I always like to test it out to see how it looks. Oh, that light was already on. There you go. Good illumination. I mean, I expect nothing less. It's brand new, but uh, very decent. Holds, holds long. Um, so that's all there is to this watch. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you hated the video, please also leave a like just to show me how much hated it. Um, if you have any recommendations for some uh, watches that you would uh, like to see me review, uh, please leave comments below. If you have any comments on this watch, please please leave that below as well. Uh, and I really appreciate your subscribe. I don't really make any money on any of these. Uh, I certainly don't make money on the videos. Uh, and it's pretty much a, a wash on the watches I sell. And I will probably be selling this one. Uh, if I do, the eBay link will be included in the, uh, in the description below. But uh, your subscription really helps. I really appreciate your patronage. And it helps this, uh, this, this grow. And it makes it worthwhile to me. Uh, thank you very much.